All right, let's fix this rig here. Got a knotty hooker. Gonna toss on a bite and fight angler. Let's see here. I'm gonna go with a little junior haymaker right here. You know what? I'm gonna take this weedless off here. Let's go with the little bigger guy. Not the junior, but the bigger guy. Now there's an oyster reefs right ahead of us and I'm gonna target some flounder. Let's see if we can catch a flounder hanging around on the edges of one of these reefs. Typically these reefs are we reefs are exposed today because of the water level. They're submerged. So I'm gonna come in here. You can see the little ripples, see the ripples on top. What's going on over here? That's where the reefs are. It'd be a good idea to put that weedless on that I just took off, but I've been feeling a knotty hooker lately, so we're gonna go with that. Sunrise is just about coming up. I'm out of day with a friend of mine, Eric. Let's see what we get. A few scatter showers. We missed that cold front, didn't quite make it this far down south of Texas. Expected to be around 100 degrees today. But thanks for coming back. Thanks for supporting, supporting the channel. Hope you catch me hooking up today. It was a little speck, man. I thought it was a flounder. And it was swimming right at me, so I was waiting for him to take the rest of the rest of it, you know? I try to be patient. Then he got right here, and so I wanted to go jerk it. And it was a little fat speck. Look at that. He smashed it, took the tail off. So he got the rattle, but he took the tail. There we go. Little guy. I don't know. It looked like it. little red these guys are being very quiet they're not blowing up very much they're not really doing much of anything that's some nice spots on them little red knock and tail lure let's fold that lure right in half how do you hook your jig head let me get this little guy off and get on his way. There we go. Oh my god! Dang it! He held it down for a minute. There we go. Yeah. 
Freaking take me on a sleigh ride. He turned me everywhere. Come on, man. Don't go behind my kayak. Stay where I could. Stay where we can be friends. Woo! Throw in that drain again, Eric. Got it. Oh, my goodness. Yes, sir. Got a deadly combination today. Woody cork. And a voodoo shrimp. Look at this guy right here. Nice pretty guy. Woody cork, voodoo shrimp right in the corner of the mouth. It's just doesn't get any better than that. Let's stick this lipper on him. Let's cure him a little better. Get that voodoo out of his mouth. Alright, bud. Let's see where it's gonna be at. 23 on the nose. 23 on the nose. This beauty. Two spots on that side. Well, one spot and then one in the one in the body. One spot on that side. Cause good guy. Thank you, Harrison. You want to keep him, Eric? All right. I'm gonna harvest this one. You've been back here. Haven't been able to find any reds. Back in the back. Back in the back lake. Come across. See some bed. Some birds diving. Like they're diving on a school of school of bait. And from the distance we saw a few splashes. Hopefully, hopefully this is the reds we're looking for. We'll get over here and cast on them. Cut through this lake. Oh yeah, there he is. Is that yours? Is that yours? Okay. Eric just caught, got hooked up. Another guy just came through. Eric uh, came through on the right. Eric's throwing a goat spoon. Yep. There you go. You love it. There you go, baby. Love it. Golden you. spoon. Golden spoon, baby. In the moss. All right. So Eric and I, you know, we were we haven't really seen too much activity. Nothing blowing up. Nothing really going on back here in this back lake and this little side pocket, little lake. And as we're getting ready to exit, we know I noticed that some birds were working. So I said, man, let's go run and see what those birds are up to. And you can see a little splashing, a little running through that those schools of school of bait. School of bait were getting hit on. And I still, even when we got up on them, I still never saw anything really working. And um, just kind of blind casting underneath the birds. And Eric hooked into very nice redfish. So let's see. Let's 
stick around with them. I know there was other reds that were schooling with them, but I wanted to catch the footage for him and uh, get him catching this beauty. Yes, sir. So let's see where it's going to be at. No board on the end. 27 and a half. 27 and a half. Ooh, that is a pretty color, Probably man. Pretty color. Like I said, we are hitting tail end. Keep fishing, keep fishing. See if we can catch a fish or two on the way back. Hard to tell. Swimming at him. Nope, nice pick. Ah, golly, that's a nice pick. Ooh, that's a thick speck right here. Ah, ah. Nice, yep. Nice cat right here. Jawbreaker right in the mouth. Let's get this out of him. Bouncing it on bottom, honestly. Bouncing it on bottom, fishing for a flounder, and uh, he just picked it off. He wanted it. Nice thick guy, though. Got a nice little weight to him. Just missing 18 inches. Just missing 18. I mean, I mean, when I say 18, you couldn't have put a quarter between his tail and the 18. 